Hi, Quadcopter101 here, and what I got for you today is it's a device that actually you ought to think about getting, especially if you're serious about flying your quadcopters. This is a low voltage tester. Um, they are very, very inexpensive, running about, uh, I'd say about $2, $3, depending where you get them. $2 if you, you import them from China, or if they're already here, imported. <laughs> they run about $3 off of uh, Amazon, 3 to 3.50. So they are very indispensable though especially out in the field when when you're not sure what the, the voltage of your battery is you know you can test anything from 1s up through 8s batteries in here and to do so you just plug in the black wire to the left this would be the black wire always so when you plug it in it just plugs in and it'll tell you right away what the voltage of your this is a 1s battery you can do the same with a 2s battery again checking to make sure that your black wires are to the left and plugging in the top and you hear that beep there's one other thing that this um, voltage tester has a capability in that it can tell you and warn you if it's low voltage battery and you can set that there's a little button right up here little pin button that you press repeatedly right now it's set the 2.8 voltage warning let's take it up to 3.3 3.1 3.2 3.3 3 .3. I keep pressing that until 3.5, 3.6, you can set any one of these voltages, 3.7. Right now this battery is above 3.7, it's a little bit high. <laughs> so let's see, Here, this here's a 4S battery that I flew recently. Let's see if any of these are low voltage. Let me plug that into there. Whoops, remember the black wire to the left? And the cells are 10.9. 3.6, 3.65, 3 3.63, what did I set that voltage, low voltage reading to? So that should be pinging. Oh, it is pinging. There we go, it's warning me. Cell 2 is low voltage, cell 3 is low voltage, cell 4 is low voltage. And, it, and that's because I set it to 3.7 or 3.8 volts. And let's cycle it back to... A normal reading of about 3.5. I like to set mine to 3.5 warning. Now, you can tell, you can check your batteries out in the field, or, or you can actually attach this to your quadcopter. Very simple to do. Okay, here's a Bugs 3. Let me zoom out for a second here so you can see this. Zooming out to show the back of the Bugs 3. No soldering required to set this up. Uh, all you got to do is plug it in okay the black is to you want the black to the left or black to the left side of this and plug it into the pins and you can either leave us dangling which i don't really recommend but another way to do it is just simply velcro it to the back or the bottom of your battery or to the side of your quadcopter and you have a in-flight voltage reading and that will start beeping very loud beep as you hear in case it reaches low voltage so again these are these um, low voltage testers they're very cheap again they're only two to two to four dollars in that range you know whether you want to wait a month or <laughs> whether you want it right now or next week <laughs> so <laughs> you can buy these they're darn they're cheap but i highly recommend them i always carry one with me in my flight box just so i can get a quick check of my batteries before a flight and again if you have a quadcopter that doesn't have a beep, low voltage beeper you can turn it easily turn it into one by simply plugging it into the uh, uh balance plug of the battery and it becomes a low voltage warning for you and just find a way to slap it on easily and i recommend velcro i use velcro in particular and uh you have low voltage warning for that quadcopter um might consider for like the same x8c or x8hg you know those type of quadcopters can easily carry that it's only nine grams okay quadcopter 101 signing out